Hey guys and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 OS X Mavericks tips and tricks. So before we actually get into that video, I need to share some important news with you guys. So recently I joined Fullscreen, YouTube's number one partnership program. Fullscreen allows you to monetize your videos and take your channel to the next level. So I joined Fullscreen probably like a week ago and I've been enjoying all the features that come with Fullscreen. Such as a royalty free sound library that contains a ton of music tracks and sound effects. So I think I might use one in this video but they're really helpful as you can use them in a vast array of projects. Also with Fullscreen you get some great monetization options so you can earn some revenue for your videos and some tracking options to see where all of your views come from. So besides all the features, they have great support and I would recommend Fullscreen. So right here is an annotation that will lead you to their YouTube page. I'd recommend subscribing so you can get engaged in their community. And also below there is a link that you can apply your channel for Fullscreen. I think that you should apply for Fullscreen because it is a great way to monetize your content. And just click that link, it's pretty easy to sign up. I just totally recommend for you if you're interested in increasing your YouTube audience to click that link right below. So with no more further ado, let's jump right into my top 10 OS X Mavericks tips and tricks. Alright, so let's jump into these top 10 OS X Mavericks tips and tricks. So for tip number one, I'm going to show you how to turn on automatic downloads if you have not turned that on already. I think it's set up by default, but if it isn't, I will show you how to do that right now. So what you want to do is open up System Preferences and go to App Store. And then just double check that you have all of these checked right here, which say automatically check for updates, download newly available updates in the background, install app updates, and install system data files and security updates. If you have more than one Mac, you can also check this option if you want to as well. So this will save you a ton of time as it will automatically download all of the app updates and system updates and security updates and of the like. So this will just save you a ton of time and I hope this is very helpful for all of you who are very annoyed by going into the app store all the time and pressing update, update, update for all of the apps. Alright, for tips 2 and 3, I'm going to show you some new features inside of the Maps application which came new in OS X Mavericks. So let's open up Maps here. And right here I pulled up the San Francisco area with the tower right here. So let's drop a pin and let's bookmark it, which is a new feature which is tip 2. So what we want to do is go to Info, we want to press Add Bookmark. So that'll go into our bookmarks bar up here, where we can open that up and see all of the locations that we bookmarked. So then moving on to tip three, we have this option where we can send it to our devices. So I can send it to my iPad or I can send it to my iPhone. As well, I can email it, message it, airdrop, tweet, Facebook, add to context, or remove the bookmark entirely. So you have tons of options right there for customizing and sharing. So there we go, let's send it to my iPhone and see what happens as a new feature introduced in Mavericks. Alright, so as you can see the notification is coming up onto my iPhone. And by swiping on that you can open up the Maps application and get driving directions for your trip to that location. Alright, so another feature inside of OS X Mavericks is a new dock style on the left or right hand side of the screen. So by pressing shift and dragging the dock over to the left side of the screen, you can see it has a more new translucent look to it instead of the old darker theme as with the previous versions of OS X. So it looks really nice and it reflects your background which is a really cool feature. So by pressing shift again you can move that down or by pressing shift again, you can move it over to the right hand side of the screen. But I can't really show you that since I have dual displays. So trust me, it works and it works on either the left or the right hand side of the screen with new styles. Alright, so moving right along with these tips and tricks, I'm going to show you three that take place inside of the finder. 
So what we want to do is open up the finder and let's go under the desktop section even though I don't have anything on my desktop. So let's just create a new folder on the desktop here and let's just name it, let's just keep it as untitled folder. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to show you how you can tag this file and make a new tag. So what you want to do is you want to go to your finder over here. You want to press on your folder or document. You want to press edit tags. So I'm just going to make one called uh, YouTube or I already, no, I don't. So let's just do YouTube, YouTube files. Let's just make it more direct and to the point. So we want to create a new tag called YouTube files. And there we go, we can see on the side it is named YouTube Files. Right clicking on that you can change the color. And let's choose blue because blue looks pretty nice. And let's just create a, another folder on our desktop. And let's just call this Docs for Documents. And let's just say, hey, I want to put this in my YouTube Files uh, tag. So we want to right click on that and press on Tags. And we want to click on YouTube Files. If we want to put in 8K Pro Films 2, we can do that by pressing on that if we so choose to. But let's just press enter. And you can see these update in real time and you can see all of your files with the label on the side, which is really cool. And so let's say we want to move these documents into another section and we don't want to open up a new finder window. Let's go into File, New Tab, which is a new feature inside of OSX Mavericks. And then when we press on New Tab, we can do that and we can drag from this to another tab here. So let's just go and drop it into, let's go and put it into our important folder or our important tag folder, I should say. So let's say we want to have docs and let's just move it into our important. So then it automatically adds the new tag. So it's important, but it's a document inside of our YouTube files. So you can see tagging is really nice and these tabs are really nice as well so you can organize your files more easily and conveniently. So that's a really cool feature inside of OSX Mavericks. All right, so moving right along, I'm gonna show you that you can have full screen applications on your desktop without messing up your other monitors. So I'm just opening up pages here and let's just open up a sample template. And here we go. And I'm just going to press on the full screen icon and you can see that it opens up in full screen. And then when I go into this mode, you can see that I have this over here. I have all my space and I have this full screen app over here. And over here it just says desktop 2 and it doesn't have anything messed up with the gray background or anything like that. As with the earlier software upgrades in the early versions of OS X. So that's a new and improved feature. So you can use your other monitor while having a full screen application on your main primary display. All right, so for tip number nine, I'm gonna show you how you can quick respond to someone's text when someone texts you on your Mac. So here is an example. Someone sends you a message on your computer, you can easily press this reply button to reply to the person who sent it to you. So you can just say, hey back and then it'll come back to the person you are intending to send it to. So that's a very nice and quick way to respond to someone who texts you on your computer. All right, so to conclude this video, let me end with my last and final tip. So all we want to do is open up Notification Center either by clicking up here or by using the trackpad gesture. And we have some options. We can compose a message really quickly. We can compose a tweet really quickly or we can also turn on or off do not disturb. Down here as well, we can see there's like a little gear icon. And by pressing on that, we can open up system preferences and we can configure some of these settings, which is really nice and convenient while you're in Notification Center. So that is very handy for your regular day use on your Mac. So hope you learned something from this video of the newest and most effective Mac tips and tricks. And let me know in the comments below if there's any tip that I missed out on. It'd be great down in the comments if you could write any tips that I missed out so everybody can figure them out as well. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. And also, 
make sure to click on that link about full screen so you can become a partner if you wish to expand your YouTube audience. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.